Yo, what's up guys, I'm Charius and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the most useful Discord servers for PVM. Just keep in mind, I already made a video that includes the PVM Encyclopedia, which is by far the most useful server for PVM. And you can see that video by clicking on the top right of the screen right now. Without further ado, let's get into the video. To start us off, we have the PVM 24-7 server. And the purpose of this server is to find teams for things like AOD, raids, or any PVM in general. As with other servers, they do have a channel to give yourself roles, so you can pick the bosses that you want to do and get the role for that, and whenever somebody mentions that role, you'll get notified. They got pretty much for every group boss, including Rockshot Got Worse 2 and even Got Worse 1, also Elite Dungeons down here. You do have to select at least one role in order to get access to the rest of the channels. They also have channels on information about AOD, BM, and general tips and tricks for PVM. And a team finder channel where you can just tag whatever role you want to do depending on the boss that you want to go. And when if somebody wants to go, they'll just respond to you and you can go with them. Next up, we have another team finding Discord, which is the PVMing FC. This is another server where you can go to find people in order to go bossing. This server does have a list of requirements for certain bosses, just to give you an idea of what you need to go there. They also have a lot of useful channels, things like DPS rotations, a discussion channel if you want to talk about your rotations, ranged melee and magic. They've got channels for presets, so you can have a preparation preset just to have your familiars, your pouches, your runes and whatever you need. They have presets for raids, AOD, Rago, Elite Dungeons and Nex. And finally, they have written guides for bosses like Raids, Rago, Elite Dungeons, Nex, Rise of the Six, AOD, and Calfight King. So if you're looking to find people to go PVMing with, this is a perfect server for you. The next server is Boss Cool, and this is a perfect server if you want to learn a new boss and have no one to teach you, you can definitely go on here and start learning some bosses. This server even has tiers for each boss, so you can start climbing up those tiers as you get more experience at every boss, and they also have a rank system depending on how experienced you are at each boss. As usual, they do have a self-assigned role where you can give yourself roles depending on what boss you want to do. Just click on the icon depending on the boss you're interested in and you'll get notified when somebody tags it in another channel. They even have learner applications so that somebody will dedicate their time to teaching you a boss. They have applications for higher tiers of ranks in each boss. And in general, a really friendly Discord to be in just to learn PVM. I really do like the ranking system in the server since it will incentivize you to get better at a boss once you can already kill it. Next up we have the ED team server, which is a server dedicated to finding teams for elite dungeons whether that be ED 1, 2, 3 or even trilogies. You probably know the drill by now, they do have a role assigned where you can pick the roles you want depending on what you're interested in doing, including gold farming, XP farming and even Iron Man stuff. Just like in the last server, they do have ranks for every elite dungeon, so depending on your experience on each one of them, you can get a different rank. And like I said before, I do love these ranks because it will incentivize you to do better at the boss once you can already kill it. So for example, for ED1, the first rank requires you to have 5 total Seryu kills, 5 out of 16 achievements, and 1 out of the 6 drops in the collection lock. For the second rank, you need 50 total Seryu kills, 10 out of 16 achievements, and 3 out of 6 drops in the log. For the next rank you need 100 total Seryu kills, at least 1 hard mode Seryu kill, that means a solo kill, 15 out of 16 achievements and 4 out of 6 drops in the log. And finally the highest rank you need 100 solo Seryu kills, all of the achievements and the drop log completed. They've got team forming channels for ED1, 2 and 3 including Iron Man and Trilogy teams. And overall a really specific server just dedicated to elite dungeons but a really good one to have on your server list. The next server is AOD 7 and 10 men. And this is a server dedicated to finding teams for AOD. It's specifically made for small teams, so don't think you're gonna be massing in here. But I always find it difficult to find a team for Angel of Death. On this server, they only have two AOD roles, whether that be Learner or just AOD, which means you're already somewhat experienced at the boss. They do have a list of requirements to join the teams, since going with fewer people does mean you're gonna have to be doing more for the team. As you can see here, these requirements aren't the craziest thing ever, and if you are thinking of going AOD either for the first time or just as a regular, you probably should have all of these things already. Most of these requirements are specifically for 7 men teams, so if you are planning on going with 10 people, you might be able to get through without having all of these things. They also have channels with helpful information overall, and helpful information if you're using magic melee or range. They have specific made presets for learners and a channel for role expectations just saying what you should be doing if you are filling that, trying to fill that role. 
I know some people have a really hard time finding teams for bosses that require a lot of people, so this is why these discords are in here and I hope they help you out. Next up we have the server for a pretty well known friends chat in game, which is Raid FC. Purpose of the server is to find teams to go raid, either just Beastmaster or full raids. You know the drill by now, they have a role assignment channel where you can assign yourself roles depending on what you want to do. If you're a learner, make sure you tag yourself as a learner. You can also tag yourself as a helper to help other people learn. They also have roles for feats, so if someone is looking for a team to do a certain achievement at raids, you can get notified for that as well. They also have a list of requirements if you want to join a team, so make sure you do meet these requirements if you want to go with this FC. If you're looking to make a team to go raids, make sure to go to the raid only chat and tag whatever you are doing, either full raid, Yaka, BM, or the Daredevil achievement that you want to do, and just add how many people you need and what roles you need as well. Pretty straightforward server, but I thought I'd include it since, like I said before, sometimes finding teams for bosses that require a large amount of people is hard. So if you want to do your raids every two days, you can join this FC and make sure you find a team. And last but not least, we have the Solak FC Discord. This server can be used by anyone, no matter the skill level or if they're completely new at Solak, to find people to go to the boss and even get their first kill. One last time, we're going to go to the self-assigned channel where you can assign yourself roles for 3 plus man or duo or learner. Make sure you read up on the requirements to join a team for Solak on this server by going to the requirements channel. The requirements to kill Solak are pretty high, so make sure you do have all of these before you start trying to get a team. This server has a really cool feature in the form of the bot review channel where you can send a video of your Solak kill and someone in the staff will review it for you and tell you how you can improve your kills. As with other servers, they do have higher requirements for experienced teams and you can see them in the experienced team section under the information channel. They also have roles depending on how much DPS you can do so that you can find people that are more or less around your level and go with them. Anyone can join the server and find a casual team either in the two, duo or three to seven man teams channels. But if you want to get into the more experienced teams, you will have to apply sending some information of your gear and your KC. And once you're approved, you will be given the role and you can start joining more experienced teams. At the bottom, they do have advanced guides on duo melee, hybrid, seven man hybrid and base. So if you want to get better at Solak, you should definitely give these a read. Anyways guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed and I hope you found some servers that will help you with your PVMing. Just remember, if you do decide to join any of these servers, read up on the rules and make sure you follow them. I've also made a video on the most useful servers overall and the ones for skilling, so make sure you click on the playlist on screen now to go to watch those videos. I'm also gonna be making one on the most useful servers for minigames, so you can subscribe to my channel to be the first one to get that. And I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.